Hello, good people. I am the Last Air Blender, and welcome to another episode of Will It Blend, the show where I take a random noun from a random noun generator and try to create it in under 10 minutes in the 3D modeling program Blender 3D. <laughs> yes, so let us see what we get this time. Last time we got ourselves the country of South Africa, and it turns out we did get a wing. Now, it does not specify what type of wing I should model, but the first thing that came to mind when I thought of wing was, in fact, a bird's wing. I could have also done a chicken wing, <laughs> like the food kind of chicken wing, but I thought that would be sort of boring. I could have done a bat wing, that could have also been cool, and also, now that I think about it, that probably also would have been easier for me to do. But, I, as you know, I like to challenge myself on this channel, so yes, I decided to go with a bird wing. And the first thing that popped into my head was, hey, how am I gonna make a bird wing? And the answer to that question was me going, Hmm, I should probably make one feather that I can duplicate a bunch of times, and that is what I ended up doing. Just, um, creating the basic shape of the feather. I'm not going too in-depth on each individual strand of whatever the hell feathers are made of, but yes, we are using this basic shape that sort of resembles a feather, to create the entire wing. I mean, at least we didn't get something completely obscure, such as, uh, God forbid, a human being. Jeez, I'm not good at modeling characters. I've done it before, but I haven't done it in a while. And If I got something like a police officer or... Man, I, I wouldn't even know how to make the clothes. I mean, maybe I'll do an episode in the future, or a video on this channel about modeling human characters, but not at the moment. And I am glad that I did not get a human character, or something else completely obscure and undoable like Satan's left testicle, or something of the sort. Or ironically, and also hilariously, air. I would not know how to model air in Blender, even though I call myself the last air Blender, and yes, I would not know how to do that. <sighs> but yeah, it looks like I'm taking this layer by layer, constructing the bird wing out of a couple different layers of feathers, and I also want to note that this is not live, I recorded this before I uh, started recording the voiceover. I just find that way to be easier for me, because talking while I'm trying to concentrate on modeling, especially uh, timed modeling, is not as easy as I'd want, so yes. Yes, um, I'm simply, uh, duplicating this, uh, standard feather model I've made. One thing I'm not too happy about in this, uh, in this blend blender modeling session was the sh initial shape of the first feather I created. If I could redo it, if I could go back and do it again, I would probably make the initial feather more detailed, because in the picture, the feathers that make up the bird wing are not simply one rounded shape. It does have at least a few strands of feather material coming off the wing there, and I'm not really paying very much attention at the moment to the overall shape of the wing. I probably should have, but 
throughout this uh, Blender build, I did panic a, a tiny bit because, as you can probably imagine, a wing is not, especially a bird wing, is not a very easy thing to model in under 10 minutes because of the just absolute detail it needs to have because bird wings do consist of multiple parts other than just the complete structure and I am about five minutes and 40 seconds in just getting those um, larger uh, feathers that come out of the outside of the wing. I really have to try and get those right or else the wing will not look like the wing in the reference image I used. Because I am planning to use a reference image in most of the Willet blends I do, because if I don't, if I don't use a reference image, and I, yes, I've tried modeling without reference images before, um, mostly the models I tried doing without reference images were, uh, fictional props that I created in my head, because I don't really plan out, uh, my, my fictional props on paper either, I just, I just go and do it. But the realistic props I've tried doing without reference images have not turned out very well in the past. So I try to make a note to use reference images for realistic objects in the real world as much as possible. And we are at seven minutes right now. And I am starting to panic because I am only about halfway through the wing, I believe, and I only have three minutes left to make it look like an actual wing and not just a bunch of circles or circular objects, shall I say, jammed up together. And mainly to do that, I would need to create the entire form instead of paying attention to each individual feather. This is a pretty interesting, and should I also add, a pretty normal thing to come out of the random noun generator. I've used the random noun generator <laughs> before, and I've gotten some pretty obscure things from it. So I'm just glad I got something that I actually knew existed. I'm also glad I didn't get, like, some sort of fruit I never heard of. Uh, another country, god forbid. I already did a, uh, a Willet blend with a country, South Africa. I would call the last Willet blend a success, and hopefully this one will be a success as well. We'll just have to see. The main form is coming along all right. I do have to pay attention to, at the moment, setting up the different layers of feathers, I believe there are three, to be closer together so that when I render it in cycles, the shadows will fall on top of each other because if I just rendered it with the layers separated it would not look like a wing at all it would look like a bunch of circular objects in random places and now I am definitely starting to panic because I am 9 minutes 40 seconds in and I have not joined the entire model together. Hopefully I'll do that soon. And I would also just like to note that I did 
forget to set the timer um, at the beginning of this video. I don't know why I did that. That was a facepalm moment. Especially when I realized that I forgot to set the timer. But I did stop at a reasonable time. It is over 10 minutes at the moment, but all I'm doing right now is resizing the model in order to render it out. I'm pretty much done doing the actual modeling part. So I wouldn't really call it unfair. And yes, this is the moment where I realize where I facepalm and realize that I did forget to set the timer. So I go, well, screw it. We're still going to render it out. We're going to see if the final product lives up to the reference image. So I add in everything I need to render it out in cycles. And then I would um, line the uh, final product against the reference image like I did in uh, the last Willet Blend. And I think to myself, this isn't the greatest wing I've ever seen in Blender. Because I've seen a lot of wings in Blender in my time. Uh, I'm just kidding. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a wing in Blender before. But we're here to learn. We're here to experience new adventures in Blender modeling. Hopefully you'll uh, learn something from my failures. And hopefully I will also learn something from my failures. And yes. I will see you all in the next Will It Blend.